Hello. I'm back. Um, I don't know exactly what this is called because I'm still learning to, but we're going to do, we're going to use the brushes and I'm going to try to fade out the background because some people needed to know how to do that real simple. So I'm going to try to do it the best I can. I've used it a few times. This is a picture of my daughter. So we're going to try to remove the seatbelt and stuff like that. Instead of hitting delete or remove background, we're going to try to fade it in. So we're going to go to the right, click on brushes. You can see there's faded ones and they're real thick ones. So we're going to try the faded one and see if that works. Well, now let's do a thicker one because this doesn't need to be faded. So we're just going to click this one and then come to your left, click erase. And then it's going to, whoops, you got to click your layer first. And then see how it shows you what it's going to erase before you erase it to see if that's what you want to do. So we're just going to go like that. And you can change it. We're going to change um, when it gets closer. So like right here, we'll change. So let's go down and we'll pick this one and see. And see how it's light now. So you have to go like over it a couple times to be able to get rid of it. So that's the difference with the different kinds of brushes when you hit erase. So we're going to go right here close to her head and just go like that. And you can kind of see that you have to do it again. And then you can also, at the top, it'll say flow, hardness. See how my hardness is zero? My flow is 25. You can adjust those manually if you don't want to go um, pick a brush. So we're just going to get right close to the face like that. And you see how it just fades? So let's change to the other brush. Whoops, that one's way too small. And we'll get rid of the blanket. And you can just do that. And see how it's gone. It looks natural. It doesn't um, look all crazy. We'll do that. We'll come over here, do the corner. And you can kind of shape it to what you want, what you're trying to go for. So see the rough edges. We're going to go with the light. We're going to change it to another one. And we're going to go right here on those edges and blend it in. It doesn't look so rough. We can do that. We can even go with this one and kind of go like that a couple times. Get rid of the rough edges. See how it kind of like blends in. So you get to the bottom. Just pick a very light one. Then it's not too um, strong. You know, the hardness is not there to make it look. It'll just blend it in like that to take away the edges. And you can do this in um, Affinity Designer also with the brushes. So you can kind of change it, use the different brushes. We use littler ones. Let me see. We'll get up close. You guys can see. So see how this one, you got to go over it a couple times. 
If you don't want to, you can always um, change the brushes. Let's see what we missed. Make sure you got it all. Because you won't know until you put it on a black background to see what you have missed. So let's see. So we'll go to the left, hit the little arrow, and then we'll go um, click on the shape tool, and I'll make a box. We'll come to the fill, change everything to black, drop it down behind um, there. Doesn't that look way better than before? So you can see right here, let's zoom in. So we can do right here. Go back to the erase tool. My brush is already, uh, let's pick my brush. And we can go like this. Blend it a little bit more. So let's see. Let me show you a before picture. So this is what we just did. And this is what it looked like before. So we took out the seat belt. We took out this blanket, part of her car seat. And we got this. Just from using the different brushes that your program offers you to be able to edit it to make it look nice. And it doesn't take away from the quality of the picture. It doesn't distort the picture in any way. I mean, if you wanted to, you can even just keep her face. So you didn't have to chop it. You didn't have to do any of that. You just had to do a little bit. So like right here, I see on her head a little bit. Let's go to the brush. Right here. And you just have to play around with it. Whoops, a little too much. So if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them the best I can. I'm still learning to. But you can see the difference. There's no car seat. Let me take the background off. Let me see. See how it kind of glows, it blends in. That's just because I picked the round light brush. If you go with one of the harsher brushes, like this, the round brush that's real thick, it'll erase it completely and it won't blend it in. So one of these light brushes blends it in. These soft brushes, it does the same thing. That's the ones I used in the beginning and then you finish it off with the light brush. So thanks for watching. Until next time.